they will be coming across the line to start their last lap this time around. Jason Plato has led from the start. He had a four and a half second lead at one stage, but Matt Neal has closed down the gap. And now, will he go on the attack in this final lap, or will he settle for second place? Plato, his mirrors are filled with the orange Honda Integra of Matt Neal. But where's the opportunity going to come? He's not going to challenge into Sear. It's out of this corner that he needs a decent run. Yeah, Plato is so good at this. He drives his line inch perfect. You know, as, as we said, saw with Gavin Smith, as soon as you defend, you actually make it much easier for the guy to get on the back of you. Plato doesn't do that until it's absolutely necessary. So, like, just here he'll defend, but around the rest of the lap he was driving impeccably online. Matt Hill's going to have trying around the outside. It's too risky. So, the Plato defends the inside. Can Matt get a better exit? He's on the outside. He's on the outside. This could be contact at the bottom hole. It's not a good place to have contact. Oh, Matt Hill sideways. Championship leader in trick trouble sideways. He gets it back again. It's Plato and Matt Neal side by side. But looking it's not over yet. yet. It's not over yet. Matt won't like that. His car's quick round here. Now he's on the back. This is into the final corner now. Will Matt Neal turn? Take the pass. Yes, he's down the inside. They make more contact. Matt Neal sideways. He's off this time. Jason Plato across the grass. Matt Neal's facing the wrong way. Can he get it started? Jason Plato's going to win the race. Matt Neal went for it, but he's lost his chance of getting points. And Jason Plato takes the win but there are going to be some huge discussions after that one james thompson crosses the line in second turkington takes third jordan finishes in fourth place fifth place goes to collard sixth for shedden let's just see where matt neal comes through he comes through in eighth position and tim there are going to be some big arguments about that last year. Matt, at one point you had a 4.6 second gap to plato and then you caught him fantastically I'm um, a bit gobsmacked after that race. You know, the car was great, and uh, we caught through the field nice and cleanly, and then that all happens on the last lap. Um, I just find it unbelievable. What are your, what are your, what's your view on it? I don't know. I, I think Toker ought to look at it rather than me. I think the footage speaks for itself. You know, I'm not going to get involved in slagging matches for Jason. <laughs> We've done enough of that this year already. You know, I just... Um, I thought I was going, doing, trying to do two clean moves on him. Obviously, they weren't. In retrospect, do you think that you should have stayed in second and just got second position points? In retrospect, if everyone drives cleanly, no. Uh, in retrospect, if I thought that was going to happen, yeah. So, uh, I'm sad for the guys, you know, because they did a cracking job after the first race and it was good points for me, it was good points for the team and everything. And, um, but I, I don't know what to say, really. Jason, you had it quite easy until the last lap. Yeah, we just, uh, you know, we, we, we're heavy, we're run, running out of grip with the, with the car towards the end of the race. And uh, Matt's obviously shown the true pace of that car, hasn't it? But yeah, yeah, you know, great win uh, and a great race. Robin's racing, as they say.